بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Okay, now in this video, we'll try to understand the difference between the push and the pull models. So these are the two different configuration approaches used by different management, uh, config management tools. So let me just quickly, uh, basics in the previous topics we have seen, we do have a server or the master. And this master is responsible for storing the configurations and sending out the configurations to the nodes. And these nodes may have, may not have agents installed depending upon the type of the ma configuration management tool you are using. So the configurations will be sent to the nodes. Now there are two ways the nodes will be getting the configurations. Either they can, either the server is going to push down the configurations. That is what we call as push model where the server is going to initiate the configuration uh, configurations probably to the end devices or the other way is something like pull motor where the nodes are going to uh, going to extract or pull the configurations from the from the server so there are two different ways the simple approach so let's try to get into details of these two models like the first one will start with a push model now the push model the simple master pushes the configurations down to the nodes now, which means the master or or we can say the master or the server is going to send out the configurations or push the configurations or any other changes down to the down to the nodes because all the configurations are stored on the server and the server or the master is going to push on the configurations back to the node now this node again maybe they are agent or agentless so already i have discussed the difference between the agent or agentless options in the previous topics so this is actually a good method especially for the software which are having no agent component because sometimes like if you are taking an ansible probably the ansible software where the agent is not required which means these are, are just the nodes and these nodes requires to be configured without any agent okay so if there is no agent probably this is going to be a best way where the server is going to uh, reach out the end devices and the server is going to push the configurations down to the end devices so which means you you may have an agent but again it is a more suited model uh, in the software where agent is not a requirement or agent is not required but it do support for both agent as well as the agentless now the configurations can be either pushed manually or you can also schedule that. Now this actually means you can go to the server and you can go and uh, connect to these devices and you can execute the set of commands at that particular point of time manually, where you can do it manually from the software. Or maybe sometimes you don't want to make the changes immediately. You may want that to, that to occur probably maybe three o'clock in the morning or maybe sometime maybe later one day in that kind of scenarios, you can go ahead and schedule that. So when you schedule that, probably those configurations will uh, will will be scheduled, and that will be changed at that particular point of time when it is when it was scheduled. So it can be like basic testing commands you want to do at the three o'clock, where you want to execute some basic show commands to test or generate some ping request or ping. Uh, a ping request to be sent to selected devices so most of the people prefer to use this model again the examples are ansible and solstack they use the push model and mainly in ansible because it is an agent list so in the agent list you need to go with a push model only so solstack do support agent uh, agent based option or agent list a little bit slightly different so most of the people prefer this push model because you you always want to make the changes immediately because in the pull model the client is going to request in the pull model again when the client requests then only it is going to get that i'll talk more on the pull model later but you really want to make the changes immediately so you go to the server or where the software is installed and you prepare a configuration file 
and you want that configurations to be pushed immediately without any delay like it can be adding some kind of vlans or maybe you want to shut down a specific interface like there are few tasks you want to be immediately done at that particular point of time so in that scenarios you always prefer to use the push model so ansible and solstack as i said both uses the push model to make any changes for the configuration management and again ansible doesn't need any agent so this is an agent list and solstack do use an agent so technically in solstack it, it's called as minions minions those are the agent terminology used in the solstack software so both uh, in both the softwares probably in both the both of these tools the master is going to communicate or initiate the process so the master is going to initiate the process here and send out the configuration data to the end devices and those end devices may have an agent or may not have an agent okay the next one there is something called pull model now in this pull model the nodes or the agent is going to pull the configuration from the server so which means it is exactly opposite to the to the push model which we discussed now these are the nodes now this nodes requires an agent software compulsory so must be running and from the nodes they are going to request or get the configurations using something called pull model so here the server is not going to initiate the connection so who is going to initiate the connection the connection is initiated from the node from the node or we can say agent because the agent software is installed on that particular node so that small software must be installed on each and every node. So most of the agent agent based, uh, we can say agent based, uh, they use pull model, but not in all the cases. Okay, so this agent is going to frequently pull the master. That's nothing but it's going to frequently ask the master if there are any kind of changes or it is is there any uh, change in the configuration files it has to update. Okay, so whatever the configuration files it is going to get from the server, it is going to compare with the existing and make sure that both are same. So if both are not same or if there is any mismatch, it is going to update the configuration file which it receives from the server. And then after some time, again, there is a timer. After some time, again, it will initiate the process again. Like again, that will vary probably like in Puppet, I think there is something called 30 minutes timer or it will vary again based on the tools what whatever the tools you are actually using over there now you can now here you need to understand that always the agent is going to initiate the connection not the server so the agent is going to initiate the request to the server that's the first step and the server is going to send out the configurations back to the nodes so the examples are like chef and the puppet are the puppet are the good examples of the pull configuration management tools and this requires an agent who is going to initiate the connection so you need to have an agent and agent is going to initiate the connection in all the pull models now if you compare these two models pull model has some slight disadvantages or we can say let's say the drawback is now the first drawback is you need to have an agent of course agent must be installed in the pool model that's the first thing and the next thing is agent is going to initiate or poll as i said it is going to frequently poll the server asking for the configurations and there is a different timer in general here like the puppet uses let's say 30 minutes now the question is now now the problem here is this this particular request is going to be sent at a specific interval time okay what if there are some changes need to be done immediately like let's say you want to change the routing table uh, forwarding table or maybe you you just want to immediately shut down the interface and the problem is unless and until the agent or the node the agent and agent the node agent installed with an agent software is going to request the configurations are not going to be uh, sent to the nodes okay so in the pull model the agent need to send out a query after at a specific time intervals 
So that's one, one kind of limitation we can say with the pull model. Now again, it depends upon which tool uses uh, which model. Like the examples of this pull model is, as I said, Chef and Puppet uses this pull model, whereas the Solstack and Ansible, they, they generally go with a push model option.